Hi everyone and welcome to the EBAT tutorial. Today we're going to talk all about footwork. There's a great myth out in the world that table tennis, you don't need to move, you just stand there and hit the ball. But in fact, footwork is so, so important. A lot of us don't quite know how to move efficiently. So I'm gonna take you through a few steps to show you how to develop your footwork, whether you're Speedy Gonzalez or not, you can still upscale your footwork. And then if you practice it over time, you will see some great results. So what does a good ready position look like? So the first thing you must understand is where do you stand or where's the weight on your foot? On your toes, be on your toes, stay on your toes, get on your toes. That terminology is incorrect because your toes are down here and that's for ballerinas, but for us guys uh, who need to move in a more explosive manner rather than elegant, La 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 la. <laughs> uh, we have got to be on the balls of our feet. And the balls of our feet are located in this zone over here. So here's a great way to develop your stance and to get on the balls of your feet. You grab two tennis balls and put your balls of your feet, too many balls there, <laughs> and try and balance yourself on the two tennis balls. Let's have a look. Get myself into position here, there, bend my knees. Okay, these are where the ball should be. Nice. Okay, place one foot on, one foot on there, and then I have to bring my weight forward. Now, this is great also for your balance, and it really does make you bend your knees and lean forward. And then once you get in this habit of leaning forward, getting into a good low ready position, then you can start playing a lot more efficiently and exploding forward, backward, sideways, and it's great for your table tennis game. In order to have short, sharp, explosive movements, you must stay on the balls of your feet, as you can see here. So this is when you're standing flat-footed. So most of the energy and force is down. Now, if you lift up a little bit this way and put the pressure on the balls of your feet, the more you lift, then that enables you to move at a much more rapid and efficient, powerful way. So be aware of trying to put all the weight in this zone over here. Tip number two, it's a great physical exercise for you to develop your footwork, but at the same time, you can do this at home. So it's brilliant. Okay, so how does the exercise look like? You're gonna take the ball, bring it in towards your waistline, and you're gonna push it forward with two hands. So you're here, you push forward with two hands up against the wall, and then you're going to do a side step, get into position, twist, and throw the ball again, catch it, side step, twist, push, okay? A quick tip for you is grab something, maybe like a bottle, put it in between your two legs, and then you're going to use that as an anchor. So if I'm moving, I'm here, I have my right leg in front of the bottle and then if I move the other way the other side step then my left leg is in front of the bottle so just be aware of that you're here you're, when you're sidestepping that's where your legs should be so let's have a look at the exercise in action Whew. that's a good workout as well. <laughs> I 
Okay, well, I hope you can practice that at home. Of course, neighbors complaining, it's all your fault. <laughs> or if you want, blame it on me, eBay YouTube channel. Send them my way. Tip number three is basically understanding that there's three different kinds of movements within a side step. What do I mean by this? If I'm moving to the side, this is one movement. But sometimes I may need to move to the side and go in. So I'm going in at a 45 degree. Or I need to move out. So I'm moving out at a 45 degree angle. Same on my backhand side. I may go in to the side, pure side, or back, out, and side. So how can we practice this? Let's have a look. Okay, again, you're going to grab a, a tennis ball or a tape tennis ball. So what you're going to do here is you're going to throw the ball slightly forward and then you're going to sidestep and catch it. Then you're going to throw it slightly behind you, sidestep again, catch it, and then the last one forward and sideways. So here we go. So I throw it up, I'm here, I catch. Throw it back, there, forward, there. Okay, I'll try and move a bit further back so you guys can see it better. I'm here. Side step, side step, and behind, there, side. I think the same for the other side as well. Obviously, I haven't got enough room here, but I'll be doing it that way. So I'll throw it, I'll side step, I'll side step straight, or I'll side step back. And this is a lovely little exercise for you to learn to shift both legs, catch, stay low, and move in the three different sidestep directions. We can't all have the best footwork in the world, but we can develop it. So if you enjoyed this, please hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Thanks again, and I'll see you on the EBAT Challenge Friday, 4.30.